this video, I'm going to show you how you can install vSphere Client on a Windows PC. vSphere Client is used to connect and manage an ESXi host or you can use it to connect to a vCenter server and manage the hosts managed by vCenter server. So before we install vSphere Client, let us talk about the hardware requirements of vSphere Client. So first, for processor, you need one CPU a speed of 500 MHz or faster and either an Intel or an AMD processor. 1 GHz is recommended and coming to memory 500 MB is the minimum and 1 GB is recommended. For disk storage you at least need 1.5 GB free disk space for a complete installation and for networking you need 1 gig Ethernet adapter which is recommended. Alright, coming to the software requirement, you need to make sure that your operating system supports the installation of vSphere Client. And for a list of supported operating system, you can visit www.vmware.com slash resources slash compatibility web link. Also, the vSphere Client requires Microsoft.NET 3.5 SP1 framework. And if it is not installed, the vSphere Client installer will install it for you. In my case, I'm using Windows Server 2012 as the operating system to install vSphere Client and Windows Server 2012 is a supported operating system for the installation of vSphere Client. Okay, let us talk about the required ports for vSphere Client 5.5. So, ESXi hosts and other network components are accessed using predetermined TCP and UDP ports and if you manage your network components from outside a firewall then you might need to create the exceptions in your firewall to allow access on the appropriate ports so here is the table that lists TCP and UDP ports and their purpose and type of each port and you can see the ports that will be opened by default at installation time are indicated by default which is 443 and 902 Alright, the vSphere client can be downloaded either by going to vmware.com download web page or by browsing to vCenter server or an ESXi hosts URL or IP address. So you can see I've browsed to the vCenter server IP address and in the web page you can click on the link that says download vSphere client. Alright, so in my case I've already downloaded the vSphere client which is bundled with the vCenter server installer and I've mounted the installer ISO file and I'm going to start the installation of vSphere client. Okay, so I'm going to install vSphere client on my vCenter server. So I'm going to go into computer and I'll right click on the vCenter server installer and I'll click on install or run program from media so it will open up the vCenter server installer setup screen and I'm gonna click on vSphere client on the left side and I'll click install okay so I'm gonna select the language for the installation which is English United States and I'll click on OK Alright, so I'm going to click on next on the welcome screen. I'll click I accept the terms in the license agreement. I'll click next and you can change the destination folder for vSphere client. I'm okay with the default selection so I'll click next. So now it's ready to install the program so I'll click on install. And by the way, you can see here in the splash screen where it says all the new features in vSphere 5.5 are available only in the vSphere web client, not in the vSphere client. So if you want to explore any new features of vSphere 5.5, then you have to use vSphere web client. Okay, you can see that the vSphere Client 5.5 has been successfully installed. So I'm going to click on Finish to exit the wizard. Okay, so this is how you'll install vSphere Client 5.5 on a Windows PC. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.